this video, we're going to take you through the process of how to create a new catalog. We'll then look at the process of actually uploading a catalog from an Excel spreadsheet. And then from there, we'll discuss various ways that you can keep those, up, those items updated uh, on an ongoing basis. Now from here to begin, we're going to go into our catalogs area. And right away, we're going to see that this is where all of our different catalogs are going to be stored. That includes both our item and our recipe catalogs. And I'll discuss that more in a moment. To go through the process of creating a new catalog, we're going to click on Create New, and this side form will appear. Now, right at the top, we can select what type of catalog we're wanting to create. We have an item catalog, or commonly known as well as a price list, where this information might have been sourced from your supplier or merchant. And from there, once they've given you that information or you're able to supply it potentially also from subcontractors, you can then upload and create the item catalog. We also have the ability to upload recipe catalogs, and that effectively allows you to take your recipes or your assemblies from an Excel sheet and actually upload them into BuildExact. Now, for today, we're going to be focusing on item catalog. Um, however, regardless of whether you're looking for an item catalog or recipe catalog uh, steps, uh, we do have FAQs that will cover off on this, and we also do provide uh, templates as well, just to guide you through that process uh, in a little bit more detail. From here though, we're going to give the catalog a name. So I'll go ahead and call it uh, items list one. We're going to give it a description. So I'll just call it general building supplies. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and assign it to a contact. Now at this stage, if we didn't have the item catalog information in an Excel spreadsheet, and we just want to create a blank one to manually add in the items, then I would leave this importing box uh, unselected, and then I could click Create, and then that would then allow me to then go in and add uh, manually add in the items. However, for today, we're going to take you very quickly through the importing from an Excel process. So we're going to tick this on, and we're going to click Create and Import. From here, it is now asking us just to confirm that we're going to be importing into this newly created item catalog. And again, we do have those links off to our FAQs here. So if you do need that assistance, definitely recommend to give that a click. Uh, from here, we're going to then select Start Import. And this page will appear. Now at this stage, we now need to upload the file into BuildExact. So I could either click and drag from my uh, file into the BuildExact system here, or I can also go ahead and import, upload the data directly to the system by clicking this button here. Now, once I've searched and I found that file, uh, BuildExact is going to go ahead and upload that, and it's now going just to confirm which sheet I want. In this case, all the information is laid out on one sheet, so we'll click Sheet 1, click Continue. From here, BuildExact is now just going to ask, with, ask us just to confirm if the information related to the descriptions are at the top column, and I'm going to say yes, they are. And at this stage, we now need to go through and help BuildExact actually map out the information. Now, if you uh, at, once you upload repeat item catalogs, this step will be automated for you. But at this stage, this is giving us the top column and the name coming from the Excel spreadsheet. And we just now need to make sure that we match that up accordingly. So in this case, the description will be the description. So we'll confirm that. The unit of measurement, again, unit of measurement, it's got that. The cost will be the unit cost, so it's mapped it perfectly. The cost item type will be correct as well here, so we'll confirm that. The category and the subcategory. Now, this is generally the minimum amount of information we would recommend to have uh, as a part of your item catalogs. You can uh, have more information, and again, that Excel spreadsheet template, which I referenced on our FAQ, will take you through some of the additional fields. But at the very minimum, this is what we recommend. Or on the flip side, you may get additional field types which are not relevant or not accepted into BuildExact. So in those cases, you can just click the ignore that column. But again, today, all these uh, columns are relevant to my item catalog. So once I've confirmed the mapping, we'll click review. Here, it's going to show us basically the information, how it's all laid out accordingly. And we can also go ahead and tell BuildExact to show if there's any rows with any problems. Uh, and basically here, we can see that currently this is a formula, it must be a decimal place. So I can go ahead and override that if I need to. Once we're done though, we're going to go ahead and click continue. And we're going to submit that into BuildExact. And now it's basically going to upload into the system. 
Now, depending on the size of the price list, this could take uh, anywhere from a handful of seconds. You can see this one is pretty much instantaneous. However, if you are uh, looking at larger item catalogs in the tens or hundreds of thousands, of items, then potentially that could take a few additional minutes. Uh, but again, Build Exact will basically give you a progress bar there as it progresses through. So just like that, I've now created my item catalog. So we can go in here and now we can see all that information. So again, later on during our estimating stage, we can have the ability to search and pull that information through. But at this stage, again, we can now see that information is uploaded into the system. The final point I'm going to make here is just to talk a little bit about the ongoing maintenance of these item catalogs. So inevitably, as time goes on, there's going to be additions or changes and updates to these item catalogs. So in Build Exact, there's basically two different ways to quickly keep them updated. You could either click this little blue button here, and this would then give you the ability to just do some quick broad increases, decreases, multiply or divide across the entire item. And you can choose how those prices are then um, changed by the percentage here or what is very common updated uh, item catalog list and so essentially from there all you need to do to basically update that existing list is to re-upload the new list on top of the old one and it's essentially just the same process again and from there build exact will both search by the uh, item code and then the name and where it can create a match will then automatically update the price So again, you have live updated prices in the system as soon as you go through that process and that covers item catalogs mm -hmm.